Hello all, today I'm going to be taking a look at uh, cleaning out my son's PS4, PlayStation 4. It's been making all sorts of uh, horrible noises, even with he the headphones on it, it makes a terrible noise, especially when you start to play a game. It's, initially it's not too bad, but as soon as you start playing a game, it's the fans increase and it's like a, an aircraft starting up, etc. Uh, my son's looked around the net and he's seen that there's been very, very good results had by actually taking it apart blowing out all the muck and grime and, yeah. and it works brilliantly with a lot of videos that I've seen. I've checked them out myself and I'm about to um, do the same to my son's PS4. He said if I break it I only got to get him a new one. It's nice isn't it? You know, clean, clean out this uh, PS4 for him and, he, and he's probably waiting for me to damage it on purpose. Hmm. Fantastic. Anyway, I, I'm going to do a good job. I've come equipped with these uh, this tooling here, loads of tooling, even though I only need one little part of this, but I'm going to use it for a lot of other things. I've just uh, uh, repaired the monitor. Um, I've got a pair of pliers, got a uh, little brush if I need it, but and I've got my good old favourite, my uh, pull uh, blower upper blower, which I use for the PC and blow out lots of other devices. It's been brilliant over the years. Anyway, first things first, this here. He complains of it being very, very noisy on startup and then when he's playing the game. Let's plug it in to see if it really is as noisy as he makes out. Be right back. Well, there you have it. There you have it. I've actually just loaded up a game called Fortnite. My son's got on there and uh, it's making a right racket. Yeah, it's a bit like an aircraft uh, about to take off. Um, it's far too noisy. Hopefully after this spring clean I'm about to give it. Um, which has been, uh, you know, a long time coming, uh, five years actually. Um, it's going to make a huge amount of difference and it's going to sound a lot quieter. Well, hopefully, but we'll find out anyway. Let's see what right, let's get down to this. Oh, it's a bit scary, but I want to break it. Don't have to pay out for a new one because I'm just doing my son a favour. Let's see if we can get the tool out. That's a good start. Right. Right, let's have a look. It's a T, a T8 tool, which is this one here. Let's get that out. That's just a lovely bit of kit, this. It's actually magnetised, it sort of solidly snaps in. Beautiful. And at the back, he's already taken off the uh, security uh, stickers already. You've got one, two, three, four screws to undo there. Uh, but first, we've got to take this side panel off. And from what I see on the net and in other YouTube channels, this actually simply just pulls off. Let's find out. Wow! Didn't think it was going to be that easy. Well, it's a good start, I guess. Let's put that aside and say. And from what I see, I've seen some people taking all these screws out, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, but, and there's one there, seven, uh, but that's not required. All you need to do is to take the hard drive out first uh, by using a posi drive on this here, and just these two screws there. So let's take these screws out first. Right, there's that one. Put it aside. That's that one over there. So these are the ones just basically holding the case on. Uh, let me take that one out. Oh, I'm going to need a posi drive for that. Let's try that one there. Right. Let's try that one there. No, that's too big. Let's put that back. And you get a slightly smaller one, which is a 2.5. Let's try that one. 2.5. Oh, just the job. Posi N 2.5. Let's pull that out. And it's very good as well, this one, because it's actually got the magnetism so it, it doesn't drop. All right. And that just literally slides out as easy as that. How about that? And I can blow that out in a bit, get a bit of dust off that, blow around here. I'll leave that for a bit. 
Right, the next stage is to take those screws out at the back. As we said here, look, I don't know if you see that. We've got the screws here, one, two, three, and four. There you go. Let's get those out. Right, using this uh, eight tool. Let's unscrew that. Yeah, simple. Comes out very, very, as they're not tight at all. Hopefully my little magnetized end, yeah. Helps it not drop anywhere. Let's put that over there. That's the first one out. Let's turn that second one out. There you go. And this is honestly completely new to me. I've never once taken one of these apart, but I have looked at the uh, various videos around YouTube, as you do. And, uh, right, we got the one more to take off. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a bit of a tighter one. Oh, that's coming out. We're all right. Uh, it's going s sailing me well so far. And there you have it. There's that side of it. And apparently, now, this is meant to just pull off. And it can be quite stiff. Uh, and it feels like it might snap. No, my luck. And I'm sure it won't. Um, and there you have it. Oh, we've got a little bit of dust up there. Not a lot, not a great deal of dust here. Uh, let's put that on the settee as well. I can clean that out in a bit. Right. Now, apparently, we should be able to turn this over and take the top section off. A little bit of luck. Let's have a look. Now, uh, apparently, it comes off more from the front end. Hopefully, I haven't lost, forgot a screw of some sort. Oh, oh, fantastic. Oh, oh my word. Yeah, we've got a pretty lot of gunk in there. Loads of dust put on settee. It's, you know, use your common sense to clean it out. I'm not going to start talking about how you should clean it out because I've got, got brushes, I've got blowers. But wow, check this out. If you actually check the um, the fans, oh, have a good look at that. I've got two cameras running at the moment, the GoPro and a Sony video camera, so I'll, put it, I'll show it both. But that is well and truly gunked up, wow. So that's where all the noise is coming from. Right, the next stage is the actual power. The power pack and that can be removed by these three screws here. One, two, three. So I'll take those out first. Let's get that undone. Right. There you go. All the screws come out very, very well. Like I say, you don't have to get an expensive, um, you know, screwdriver set. You can get. I've looked on eBay and you can actually pick up something for about three pounds. Free, free postage is ridiculous. So it's quite a, a cheap thing. I just want to say a set where I, if I run into any other problems with anything else, I'd have every sort of tool for every eventuality because I've just repaired a monitor um, which needed similar tools. Right, and once we re re uh, remove those uh, three screws, We've got two other screws here with these little sort of like clamps. And they look like a another um, Yeah, another posse. Yeah, right, okay. Right, let's have a look. Oh. And they're quite long actually. And all we do is just pull them out using that little clamp. Let's put that down there. The clamps go face inwards. Just remembering. Uh, there you go, let's take that one out. Oh, 
Oh, let's get taken out with that clamp. The good thing about it is I can literally take the look the clamp and that out because it's magnetized, no problem at all. So that's the benefits of having a magnetized um, you know driver. Over here we've actually got this actual power pack, battery pack, is actually connected with a little plug there that goes down onto a board I imagine, but some people recommend you don't have to take a plug off at this stage, and I won't because it looks very, very awkward to try and get in there to release it, so I will leave that. But what, I, what, what I've seen done is you literally try and pry this up very, very carefully. It's a little bit, oh, I see, it's a little bit awkward. Uh -huh. There you go, let's see if I can grab that and bring it up. The idea is to bring it up as, is as level as possible. It is a bit sticky. Bear with me. Oh, that's not as um, that's not as easy as what I initially thought. Yeah, that's quite difficult. Wow. Some say try and bring it up um, as level as you can. Yeah, that's quite difficult. Um, I don't know why that sticks in, uh, but it has come loose now. And you can see the plug here. We don't want to damage that. And <clears throat> basically, now that's out. We can see, you know, we can blow the main cooler fan here, fan here on the heat sink, and we can mess around cleaning up the. Um, the actual fan itself. Um, I'll get the blower on. This is going to be a bit noisy, but we'll just have it, give it a little bit of a blow, see if it makes any difference. Could get a bit dirty in here, one moment. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot, lot of dust in there. Apparently, uh, somebody said that they they worried about the um, you know the ball bearings in the uh, fan. I don't think that's too much of a problem. That fan's spinning like crazy during use. Um, I think blowing it should be totally fine. Obviously in the battery, in the battery pack also, it's dusty, that could do with a blower. Well, there you have it. I made the right mess in my lounge. Um, let's use this little brush if I can clean that fan up a bit better. It's looking so much better. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. I'm really pleased with that. That's so much better. And this is, like I say, I've never done this before. You can see it's a relatively straightforward and simple procedure. It's quite fun. It's nice to be able to uh, bring back something to new condition. That looks, just with that little bit of brushing, that looks totally fine. Let me just blow it off a little bit more. There you 
have it. Yeah, that fan is perfectly clean. That's, that's brilliant. That's about it. Wow, that was quick. Let's see how quickly we can put this thing back together. Right, there's a couple of pins here and they've got to be located onto the battery. That's the main power pins. So they've got to be located back. All right, hold on, let's have a look. So let's put that back all level and everything should go clip back perfectly. A little bit of luck. That's obviously what was difficult coming out. Oh, that clipped back nice. Nice and solid. Right, let's put these long clamped screws back in. Right, screw that up. Right. It wasn't that difficult to take them out, so we don't need to over tighten. All good. All right, we've got those little, um, the little three others little screws there that we took out. Right. Let's just change the bit because that was that eight bit, wasn't it? All right, just screw that up. Right, that's the battery pack back in. Right, um, next stage, I suppose we could put the back panel back on, uh, but obviously I need to blow that a little bit to clean that up. Two seconds just to get a, a little cloth. Oh, I'll just use this. Brrr. Right, there you go. Don't have to be perfect, but just with a little brush. That's all already nice, yeah. Just blow that out a little bit. Now we've got to remember how to put it back on. Um, right, this plate here, I imagine, goes over there. So I believe it sort of comes in from the back. Something like that. And it just clips on. Wow, this is going too good to be true. It's fantastic. Right, okay, well I'm not gonna put those screws in yet. I'm gonna turn it over now. See how messy it is here, how much dust come out. All going absolutely fantastic. Right, now we can put the, the hard drive back in. I'll give it a little bit of a blow first. Didn't have much dust on it. That should simply just slot in here. Is that right? Yeah. Perfect. Got that little uh, securing boat for the hard, hard drive. Let's just put that back. And this thing's not been cleaned out for five years, apparently. And you can tell by all that dust. Right, so we've got a couple more screws, haven't we? Uh, to put in a bit. When we put the uh, case cover back on, this has got a little bit of dust in, let's just brush that out. Just blow that out now. Right, um, okay. Right, let's see how this clips on. Right, so something like that, wasn't it? Yes. 
Wow. Sorted. And we've got a couple of screws. Ah, uh, these are the screws, uh, which just go in there. All right. I'm well chuffed at the moment. It's going very, very well. Right. Uh -huh. Hope the video's still running. Don't need to over tighten again. It's only plastic. That's that. We're sorted. All it is now is just simply put that case back on, however that goes. Absolutely fantastic. How about that? Absolutely brilliant. Right, we're playing. Right, we're playing the game and uh, it is a lot better than before. Uh, here's the console back on the ground. It was making a right racket. Obviously you do hear the fan still, but it's a fan, you're gonna hear it. But generally, yeah, wow, success, brilliant. Anyway, if you enjoyed that video and it was of any use whatsoever, you're gonna try the same thing yourself. It really does make a difference if you press the like button. Um, that would be fantastic. Or even subscribe to the channel. I make loads of different videos. Anyway, really enjoyed that. Positive outcome. Brilliant. Anyway, catch you all soon. Emmerichs.